like a moth to flame. Hello, Paul Bello here in the Lit RPG Adventures Workshop. Yeah, we're gonna do a uh, quick playthrough of the Lit RPG Roguelike. Which still has a lot of bugs, uh, but we're getting a lot of closer. Um, I've added a new Game Master NPC that will uh, appear and disappear. Um, maybe give you hints, maybe not. Um, we now have an indicator of where the dungeon core on the level is, and if you talk to the NPCs, they'll tell you more about that. Um, but let's. we can quickly get to the dungeon core and defeat it. Our new uh, teleport scroll uh, brings us a little closer. Um, player is still invulnerable, so we don't have to really worry about monsters or anything. And uh, got it set so that you level up super quickly. dungeon core on a speed run. <laughs> uh, how do we get out of here? Let's see if we got anything to help with our light situation. 28% uh, chance. Nope. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Put that on some light on the situ situation. Yeah, where are we? Okay, we'll try to go down there. There are uh, dead ends and turnarounds and loop de loops um, Pretty happy with the dungeon generation so far. Um, of course, with everything non-tuned, just uh, going through this, but uh, we will uh, make sure those are a little more challenging. Uh, where are we going? It's a long hallway, buddy. Doesn't look like we'll have to go back up and then back down. in the final game you won't level that quickly um, got it set up now so this is a 30 roof dungeon um, what I'll probably do is uh, maybe start with like a 5 or 10 room dungeon and then the lower you go for depth um, the more rooms and everything you'll have We're just trying to get to the dungeon core as quickly as we can. We do have a lot of mobs spawning though. And the game doesn't seem to be slowing down too much. Uh, okay, we're almost there. In about four minutes. <laughs> But like I said, uh, we're speed running and not really worrying about anything and nothing is really uh, fine-tuned yet for gameplay. Okay, there we are. Still fine-tuning that too. Um, and of course the uh, Dungeon Core won't be that easy to defeat um, on lower levels. Um, some of these are hooked up, so like Intelligence, if I've been raising that, um, that influences how many points you get to spend uh, the next level. Uh, basically every 5 on a D100 you get a plus 1 modifier on whatever. 
But once you defeat the dungeon core with our negative uh, negative health, you uh, descend down to the next floor, and we have another dungeon core, and so on and so forth. Um, so there's still a lot. See, we're level seven already. Um, go up that quick probably on Dungeon Depth 2, but um, I'm getting closer I think, um, I'm hoping maybe next weekend uh, invite just a few people in to uh, test it out, give me some feedback, and then uh, make it live in alpha state for everybody else. Probably going to have to limit um, how many times you can talk to the NPCs and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, it could get really expensive really quick. But at the end of it, you're going to have a journal that basically is a log of everything that's happened in the game. And using GPT-4, ChatGPT, or something else, you can uh, hopefully turn this into some kind of narrative uh, fiction. So, um, we don't have crafting yet. Um, inventory is there. Map is there. Talking sword is there monsters we've seen, um, the bard, that's about it, um, really tired, um, got some other stuff going on in the background too, which is why uh, development on the slowed down a little bit, but uh, really wanted to share this with people soon. See, this is a different uh, tile set, um, so I got a couple different variations that I'm playing with. Um, but if you like what you see, uh, leave a comment, uh, ring the bell, or whatever the kids are doing these days, and uh, I hope to have another update soon with some good news and uh, the ability for you to play this ChatGPT-powered uh, roguelike. Thank you.